Good day, so we're going to look at some of the answers to the multiple choice questions on matrices. I would have posted. This is a nice review on matrices as well, because I know some of you all didn't get a chance to do the matrices. So it'll be a nice review as well to see how easy these questions are. And these questions would repeat for CXE. These are the most recent ones that they would have done in the past few years or so. So let's see what they look like. So for the first one, two matrices A and B are conformable for multiplication. A times B if, so you could only multiply matrices and the way we write a matrix, it'll always be row first time columns after. And that's why we get this rectangular shape. So we're going to multiply a matrix row by column. So again, it could be a two by one matrix. That's the row by the columns that they talk about. And if I'm going to multiply it by our next matrix, it'll again be row by column. So that's my first matrix, this is my second matrix, and I could only multiply matrices is if these two things equal. So this could be like a 1 by 3, just using that as an example. So once these two numbers equal, in other words, the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, so that's the answer for this one, I can multiply the matrix. And the nice thing is my answer is going to be the outside two numbers. So even before you actually multiply, you could double check that one, it can multiply, and two, what your answer going to look like. So the answer for this matrix would have been a 2 by 3 matrix. Again, I'll just use an example. Here was the, we just wanted really the, the procedure and how it could multiply, and you'll see this when we're doing some other examples. The next one, two things we're going to see here. The determinant of the identity matrix. Now, the identity matrix is a special matrix. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. And the entries in this 2 by 2 matrix, again, you can see it have two rows, two columns. That's why we call it a 2 by 2 matrix. And we'll come back to rows and columns in a little bit. And the determinant is, and we would have seen this before, if you was checking all the videos and it worked before. To get a determinant, I was going to multiply these two numbers. I could only find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, by the way. So I multiply these two numbers. So that's 1 times 1 which is 1, and I minus the product of the other two numbers, in this case 0 times 0, which is 0. So I have 1 minus 0, so the determinant of the identity matrix is 1. And again, we'll see all this again, but this again serving as a little recap of matrices. So this is a more detailed one, probably one of the harder ones in the list that I would have sent for you to try. I want to multiply these two matrices together. So the first thing I have to do is find out one, if it could multiply, and two, see what the answer gonna look like. But you can already see what the answer gonna look like, but we'll come back to that. So the way we get the size or the order of the matrix, we see how much rows it have first. So rows mean they go like that, those are rows. So this has two rows, and we always multiply by the amount of columns. Columns go up and down, so one, two, three columns. So two rows, three columns, because we always go rows by columns. And two by three, tell them the amount of entries. That's just a check. It has nothing to actually do with multiplication. Same thing here. What the size of this matrix is going to be? Well, let me check. One, two, three rows times one, two columns. And again, three by two, you can see the six entries. So if I really want to multiply these, I can. Because you realize these two numbers are the same. And my answer is going to be the outside two numbers, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. And all of these are 2 rows, 2 columns, if you notice. So that wasn't anything new. It's just actually to multiply it now. So I'm just going to write it back here so we can see how to actually multiply the matrices. So I write in back matrix A. And we already know it's a 2 by 3 matrix. We're going to multiply that by matrix B, which is a 3 by 2 matrix. And we're expecting a 2 by 2 matrix. When we multiply matrices, we could only do rows by column. So all I'm going to use this one for is rows, because remember, that's the number we're using. And all I'm going to use this one for is columns, because this just tells me we could multiply it. So we're using rows from this one, columns from this one. So I'm going to multiply this row by this column. So that's first row, first column, and we just multiply that. So 1 times 3, 1 times 3, I get 3 plus Second number to second number, 3 times 2, I get 6. Third number to third number, minus 3 times 0, anything times 0 is 0. So that first entry, 6 add 3, add 0, 9. So we could already eliminate these two answers if you notice. 
is one of these is man so but we're gonna work out all anyway so to get this entry that is first row second column so i need to multiply first row by second column same procedure first number to first number one times zero is zero plus second number to second number three times one is three plus third number to third number minus three by five minus 15 because if i plus minus 15 the plus and minus gonna make it a minus right so here i end up with zero plus three minus 15 three minus 15 minus 12. And I keep going, but it's already looking like A's man. So but let me keep going and see. So to get an entry in the second row, first column, I need to use the second row, first column. So first number to first number, 3, 3 is going to give me 9. Plus second number to second number, 0 plus anything is 0. Third number to third number, 0. Because that's 5 times 0, right? 9 plus 0 plus 0. 9 looks good so far, so that means the last answer should be 25. Let me double check it though. So to get my last answer, second row, second column. To get answer in the second row, second column. See how nice it lines up. So let me go again. 3 times 0, anything times 0 is 0. 0 times 1, anything times 0 is 0. Last number to last number, 5, 5 is 25. 0 plus 0 plus 25. And same exact thing we get. So that's how you multiply matrices. Not as hard as you think, but that's what it'll look like, right? So this is matrix multiplication, multiplying two matrices together. It has something called scalar multiplication as well, which is what this one is here. And what we're really doing for here is we're multiplying the matrix by a number. It's almost like expanding a bracket, if you notice, right? So I'm going to expand this bracket. So the same 5 times xy is the same thing as 4, open bracket 10, 20 there. So 4 by 10. 40 4 by 20 80 so that means 5 times x should be equal to 40 and 5 times y should be equal to 80 so i could solve this now what times x gonna give me sorry what times 5 gonna give me 40 so x will be 40 divided by 5 so 8 times 5 is 40 don't you have one answer with it so that's my answer that's how nice sometimes the multiple choice questions work out um if i wasn't sure let me double check why what times 5 gonna give me 80 well i just take the 80 and divide it by 5 and again 16 so sometimes i don't need to work out the whole thing same thing like this one i only got a couple answers but that was enough to narrow it down to move on same thing here i get the first answer that was the only one like that but if i wanted the peace of mind i could work it out and see myself let me keep going with some of these others Given that a equals 1, 3, minus 3, 3, 0, 5, I wanted 3. So this is the scalar multiplication I'm talking about. I just want to multiply matrix A, which is that, by 1, 3, minus, sorry, 1, 3, minus 3, 3, 0, 5, by, I put in a 3 in front of it, and I come just like expanding. So I'm multiplying each piece in here by 3. 1, 3 is 3. 3, 3 is a 9. 3 by minus 3, minus 9. 3, 3 is a 9. 0 by anything is 0. 5, 3 is 15. So I multiply each here by a factor of 3, which answer looking like that. A question done next one see the, how easy these are and to get easy marks if the determinant are a so again this means determinant when you see those two lines on the other side it with respect to matrices these were the most two recent questions by the way January 2021 these two here so we're gonna look at those as well so if the determinant are a is zero then a is so that means if I was to find the determinant or something and I work out the zero we call that a singular matrix. And again, we're going to go through that if you want to double check the notes. If it's not zero, then it's not singular. So those are the two types of matrices that you end up with. A singular matrix does not have an inverse because you can't divide by zero. But again, all of those things would be on your, um, your notes that would have been done on the previous videos if you check them out. So here the order of A is just how big it is, the size. So they want rows by column. That's what the order means. Rows by column. What's the size of this matrix? So let me check it. How much rows does this have? One, two, three rows. How much columns does it have? One, two, three, four columns. This is a three by four matrix. Man says, see, that's how easy the marks are to get. Last batch here. So this would have been 27 and 28. I would have called it on the worksheet at the send. I just call it eight and nine here for um, to be consecutive. So we have two matrices here, both of these questions based on these two matrices, P and Q. They want to know what's the order of matrix Q. This is matrix Q, what's the order of matrix Q? That means I want rows by column. How much rows? One, two, three rows. How much columns? One, two, three, four. 
Is that three by four matrix? I get my one mark. Next part, another determinant question. What the determinant a P? So like I tell you, to get the determinant, all I'm going to do is multiply these two numbers together. So that's eight by five forty minus, and now I'm going to multiply these two together. Seven by six forty two. Forty minus forty two. Again, a negative answer. My answer is minus two. And that's it. Those are some very recent multiple choice questions from the past three exam papers. Easy to get those marks. And with a good SBA score, you want to get as much marks on the multiple choice as possible.